Future Worlds was a behind the scenes segment made by Sci-Fi for the release of season one of The Expanse TV show. In this segment, there are interviews with the crew, actors, and creatives on the show. I found that these segments are hard to find online, but they are super interesting. In this video, I'll be playing the behind the scenes segment in its entirety, then I'll be giving some additional commentary afterwards. So let's get into it. The Expanse takes place a few hundred years in the future. It's about man's first steps in colonizing the solar system. Earth, Mars, Belt, we are all interconnected, whether we like it or not. Earth is the fountainhead from which human life flows. Earth must come first. Earth is a bit of a grim spot. It's got 30 billion people on it. The ice caps have melted. It's still a force to be reckoned with. It can't be ignored, but it's an empire in decline. There are enemies of the Earth who are after the resources. They took Earth citizens hostage. The Secretary General has to make a strong response. You want a war with Mars? This will get you one. Mars is a militarized planet, very focused, very driven, very disciplined. You know what I love most about Mars? They're an entire culture dedicated to a common goal, to turn a lifeless rock into a garden. Mars has become the destination for all of the greatest minds of humanity as they come together on this massive undertaking. There's this pride in being Martian and not being one of the people who stayed behind. And there's an arrogance in that that I think makes Mars really admirable and a little scary. The planetoid series in the asteroid belt has a huge sheath of ice around it, so the belt has a lot of water in it. Early on, Mars stole all of that. They built their solar system on our backs, spilt the blood of a million of our brothers, but in their eyes, we're not even human anymore. Ceres is the main city on the asteroid belt. It's very much like a port city. There's a dock and there are casinos and brothels and where there's commerce, there's crime. There's also little smaller asteroids scattered around. You know, there's Eros, there's Phoebe, and they all have their own little colonies too. And they're all undergoing the same sort of question. They're all dependent on Mother Earth, but they also want their independence, they want to break away, they want to be their own thing. Earthers have a home. This time, Belters head one too. But we're going to give audiences big ideas and big sets and world creation on a backdrop that's spectacular. We have multiple worlds that have never been seen before on TV. We like to joke that it's actually called The Expense because no expense has really been spared. Right now, we're at about 120 people working on the floor. We have three stages totaling about 80,000 square feet. We have green screen that wraps completely around this whole studio. And that's the scale that we need in order to create things that are three or four or five stories high. Everything's not shiny and sleek. It's based in real science. We've got an incredible visual effects department, and they're going to make a spaceship that's 400 meters long. What I think is really magical about the sets in the spaceship is how specific and how much attention that they pay to detail incredibly ambitious for a television show. It's more along the lines of an epic feature film. When our viewers watch episodes, they are going to have the full cinematic experience. We make it all this way, so far out into the darkness. Why couldn't we have brought more light? The Expanse special two-night premiere starts December 14th, then all new episodes every Tuesday at 10 on Sci-Fi. The first thing that stood out to me in this segment was everyone's season one look. Of course, over the years, we all looked a little different and also the, especially the actors, their look changed as well. But even seeing Ty as well in season one, we all look, uh, I don't know, we, I, even myself, like we all look different. So I just thought that was really interesting. One thing I really enjoyed about this show, and I've done this in other seasons, not just in season one, anytime we see an exterior shot of Earth, I always pause to look at the buildings and the architecture. I'm always really interested to see what the show interprets as future Earth. Of course, in season one, we don't get to explore that much of Mars's culture, but I like how later in the seasons um, we do get to explore it, and they are alluding here that Mars definitely has a different culture than Earth, and of course, like, 
the belt has its own very unique and interesting culture as well. For me, in season one series was such a wonderful design and such an interesting set to work on, but it was challenging. It did have a lot of challenges, especially because of how detailed the uh, series tunnels were and also the various different areas such as like Midtown and stuff like that. So I definitely think that uh, it's nice to reminisce and look back on uh, series season one. Whoa, I'm super glad that one of my time-lapse shots made it to these segments. I put a lot of work into making these time-lapses good, and I'm happy that even just a small segment made it into these uh, behind-the-scenes content. That's the one thing that people might not realize about the show is that season one was massive. We had so many studios and so many sets going on. It was like... It was a very stressful season, but it was also spectacular as well, especially because the end product was really awesome. I thought it was really cool to see a pre-textured early render of the Donager. We don't get to see these shots very often. They come straight from the VFX vendors, and I think this render is pretty cool. So this is a white model of series, and one of the things that uh, later on in the show, we started to shift from building white models to using VR as uh, a early concepting tool. So it's interesting to see how in season one, we were still in the old school white modeling phase, but uh, by the end of the series, we had a pipeline that integrated modern technology such as VR and uh, like some souped up computers. So it's always interesting to see how much has changed from season one to season six. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below. There's actually more segments that I have of the sci-fi behind the scenes content. If you like this video and you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.